What's up guys? I'm the Nearsighted Gamer and I'm here with my Persona 5 early preview discussion. I say early preview because I've, I'm only in to the game like 30 hours. 30 hours you say? Early preview? That's it? Yeah, apparently you haven't played a Persona game. For a Persona game, 30 hours, it's it's barely scratching the surface. You, you're pretty invested whenever you get to 30 hours. You're into the story, you've got the tutorials out of the way, you pretty much know how the game goes. Then the game's story is starting to kick in. Oh, whoa, whoa. hold up. Let me back up. Persona 5, obviously, is the fifth game in the Persona series. If you have played a Persona game before, then you pretty much know how this goes. And if you haven't played a Persona game, then let me tell you a little bit about it. Persona is a... Uh, it's hard to describe. It's part um, time management simulator, part dungeon crawler. And the thing is, you're playing a high school student who has to manage both. I'm not going to get too into it. I'll use that in my review. But I'll just tell you how I think about the game so far. You're at night, you're, or night or evenings, you're going into dungeons and you're fighting monsters, your typical RPG type thing. But during the day, you're managing your time between hanging out with your friends, your job, and engaging in other activities. So it'll be it's a lot for somebody who has never played a game like this. Luckily I have. I played Persona 4 Golden on the Vita and it was amazing. I also played Persona 3 and I fell victim to being overwhelmed. When I played it, I was like, everybody's talking about this game. It's a great game and I love RPGs. So I'll just jump right in. Not knowing anything about a Persona game. I was like, okay, all right, I get the fighting part. All right, now I'm supposed to talk to him and her and do what now? You want me to do this and that and that and that? I'm like, whoa, this is too much. I don't know if I can do it. And I have to say, I quit. I quit it. That's that's the one that got away. And I really want to go back and finish that game for the fact of now that I know how the Persona games work, I, I'm pretty sure I can handle it. But it's a PS2 game and it's also on PS3. Don't want to bring out my PS3, blah, blah, blah. But I'm getting sidetracked. Played Persona 4. Knew more about it. Really liked it. Played it extensively on my Vita. Me, my Vita, and Persona 4, we were like this. Well, I guess this. Because there was three of us. Well, anyway, played it. Loved it. Didn't platinum it. Heck no. But Persona 5 came out. It's been in development. I think it's been like eight years. Is how long it was in development. I'm just throwing out random numbers. But... One thing I gotta say about Persona 5 that everybody says, and I agree, that is dripping. One word, style. It's very stylish. You, you're taking the role of thieves and you're stealing, but in a really, really cool way. You're stealing people's, you're stealing treasure from people to change their hearts. You're hunting down people who are pretty much terrible people and you're going inside this alternate dimension or alternate world to change their hearts to make them a good person and you know just make them turn out turn over a new leaf that's not a spoiler that's pretty much the story of the game you would know that but the way the game looks it has a uh quasi comic book slash uh slightly cell shaded look to it but more more a comic book style to it you know, your characters are talking. There's like, you know, the thought bubbles are jagged and all that, you know, to show directly who they're talking to. There'll be like cuts, you know, whenever there's serious dialogue talked about by characters, you know, stuff like that. And whenever you finish a fight, you know, just the way the art looks, the art is great. And the music has this jazz feel to it. And I already plan on getting the soundtrack because the music fits so perfectly. Whenever you're just hanging out, there's hanging out music. Whenever you're in a fight, there's a fight that you just you just want to like hang out there and not finish the fight so you can listen to the music over and over again. It's pretty cool. They've really done a good job with this. I can't tell you when the review will be coming because from what I hear, this game at its base is like 80 hours or so, 80 to 100 hours. I don't plan on platinum it, but I know that it's... I know it's gonna be a while. I got this from Gamefly, but I might well just wanna go ahead and buy this one. So, 
from what I can tell that right now, I'm absolutely loving this game. You're constantly wanting to play it whenever you're not playing it. The You don't feel like you're doing like the things you have to do during the daytime are tedious at all. You feel like they're necessary, which they are, but the game doesn't make you feel like it's something that you just have to do over and over again. You're like, man, I only have a short amount of time. Do I want to hang out with this guy? Do I want to go home and study? I got midterms coming up. Do I want to make some coffee because it will help me out in battle because it will bring up my SP? You just, there's so many things. You really have to stop and think. You can't just barrel through. Like, what do I want to do? What's more important? Do I want to bring this up? Do I want to bring this up? How will this help me? It's great. It's fantastic. And for that reason, why well, I say it's going to be a while. So right now, at this moment, already being a Persona fan, I was already into this game, but I definitely, I'm definitely liking it. So right now, at this point, I think if you hadn't tried it, you may, you should definitely check it out. I'm liking it. Things could change. The story seems to be going great so far. I'm liking the characters. People are popping in. I haven't got my entire my entire crew crew yet, but I'll have them soon, and then we'll be just going off doing our thing, and I'll see where the story goes. I'm really interested to see how the story pans out. I said this earlier today talking to somebody. I don't want to rush through the game, but I'm in I'm in a hurry to see, to get to the point to where I can look back on the game itself and be like, man, that was great. That was fantastic. I don't want to rush through it, but I'm in a hurry to be done with it so I can look back on it as a whole and really see and take it all in, if that makes any sense. But like I said, this is just the early preview from me, and right now I'm really liking it. So I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. You know the drill. Like, Facebook, Twitter, New Sighted Gamer, G-A-M-R on Twitter. Uh, if you're watching this video already on YouTube, just go ahead and like it. And also, if you could, ring my bell, ring my bell. And then you'll get notifications from me after you subscribe, so you'll always know when I put up videos to get more of that sorry but yeah so you know drill all that like the video if you like it if you don't like it like it anyway because i said so all right and i guess that's it so as always be excellent to each other later peoples